Well, I'm just going to take a winter look at the sleeping wood at Stowe. So I'm just walking into the area now. Um, it was originally designed by Charles Bridgman in 1720. And it was much more formal um, and we've restored it now to how it looked in 1770 when it was uh, less, less formal. It would have had hedges along the side of these beds and shrubberies before. This is a cabernet, an open area, and you can see the alley going to a central chamber. And um, off here is a serpentine path. It's a wilderness garden, and as you're in a wilderness garden, it should be a bit more secretive than it is at the moment, but you have your own space. And um, because it meanders, as you see, you soon lose your orientation and eventually you arrive at another cabernet. The horticulture in this area is a much higher standard than the landscape around it. Um, and uh, we've still got some work to do to bring more colour and if I do a video in the summer you'll see that there's much more colour in this area. And I uh, see we're just coming up to another cabernet. Um, if we just walk on you'll, you'll see we're the Cabernet opening up and um, planting is a here you see there's things like holly much more colorful plants in this area the viburnum tinus just here should be about to flower yes it's, it's an, another few weeks and here's a Cabernet where you can have your own space but you're safe because you've got an alley again leading to a central chamber and the meanderings carry on all the way round, so we're just following it round, um, enjoying the, the uh, first of the snowdrops just down here. If we see, yeah, we're just starting to come out, um, but there's the, the, the sides of the path are covered in those anaconites eventually. It's just the ones coming out where there's a bit more shelter at the moment. Anyway, we're going to go to the central chamber now and you see we're reaching another alley here and then we walk to a central chamber and we've marked where the sleeping wood was um, and uh, that's because by 1770, the uh, time we've restored to, the sleeping wood, uh, sleeping chamber had gone but we've left a memory of what it said over the door just on a stone there since all things are uncertain indulge yourself and um, sleeping wood is about uh, sleeping beauty in the woods a fairy tale um, and uh, it, it was a much darker one than it, the, the one we know today which is house was in the Elysian fields on the other side um, but and it's in the Garden of Love, so that makes sense. You see the alleys, and then we've put a memory of um, the uh, sleeping parlour. The, every bit was removed, even the foundations. And um, but you see the benches here, with the, have been put round, and they they've got uh, the green men on them. Uh, which are on the urns that were on top and those urns are now on Oxford Bridge so you can go and see them um, so and also um, because it's a later it's developed as it looked 1770 you just get a glimpse through the, there um, of a view to the rotunda because it's become more of a place to view out of than it, it was a wilderness garden and also there we go to, up to George the second over there. So we're just going to wander on through the sleeping wood and uh, look at a few more things. Hopefully, um, uh, to just you can see this, um, the uh, late pavilions in the distance. And that's sort of the shape with urns on it that the sleeping parlour looked like in the middle of that middle chamber. But there's this straight chamber which takes you down to the lime Quinclunks. The lime quinclunks, um, uh, that's a formal planting of limes. It doesn't look very formal today. The remainers 
uh, that are here are veterans now and um, you can't really sh see the shape but there was two lines go in a, going of limes going in a square um, so this one would have been one of the outer rows and just there one of the inner rows um, we've got to plant a few more back here it's, uh, it's lovely to see remnants of the uh, original landscape still surviving we lost a beach over there last year but it's a, an opportunity to plant another one back so that's great so the sleeping wood is wonderful and it's maturing we restored it about five years ago and because um, it's on grass path people don't visit it enough so if you're visiting Stow, come to the uh, sleeping wood come off the the um, uh, gravel paths go through areas like the sleeping wood and you should find more horticultural experience in those areas